In this video we are going to see how we can create a front end post submission page and we can add inside that form our WooCommerce products. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, I know that there are some forms that they can uh, support this feature so you can add a form, create a form and then have it in the front end and then create some products inside there and they will be assigned to the WooCommerce. But there are also some pro elements, some uh, pro contact forms that will not going to do that. The Piotnet forms doesn't say that it supports, but I found a way how you can create using the Piotnet form, a form like that. And we're going to see how we're going to do that. First, we're going to see the NS add product front end for WooCommerce, which is a free plugin. And you can use that to create a front page form. Uh, but keep in mind that you will not have any settings in that. So we're going to copy that and we're going into the plugin. So I'm going to hit add new. And here I'm going to paste that. I'm going to install this plugin, the NS add product. And let's activate that. And as you can see, it has a active installation a little bit more than 100 active installations so it's not very popular so uh, after that we have this add product front end here uh, setting so we're going to hit here we have only two settings that we can change and as you can see here is the main page that will carry the form so you can have it as the add, add product front end which is the page that this plugin added or you can select one of your own and then you can select if you want the product to be published or to be draft this is if, if you want someone to publish the product to add the product but you want to check the product before make it publish so I'm going to hit as I'm going to leave it as published and I'm going to hit save changes of course they have a premium version that you can check and let's go here into the uh, pages and uh, keep in mind that the pro version is very cheap i think it's about 35 dollars so as you can see one side is 35 dollars three sides 89 and 10 sides is 259 so it's cheap for one side but i would not uh, going out oh, i wouldn't use it if i would like to have it in more sites so let's go back and let's go into the pages all pages uh, keep in mind that I haven't used really this plugin I don't know if it's good or not but I'm showing you that there is a way so I'm going to view this page into the front end and this will remind you how it looks in the back end so we have the product name let's go and add here a test 10 because I have made more tests so let's go for test in the description I'm going to select the decor the decor the regular price is uh, 20 the sale price is 15 then we have the tax status tax classes inventory shipping and everything else that you can select here attributes and everything that you want set product image i'm going to select this one and i'm going to hit select and then let's go and save this will say that we have a success message and you can click here that says test and you can see the product and how it looks in the front end back in the uh, back end of the WordPress back in the back end so let's go and uh, see the old products and here we're going to see that we have the test 10 which has a decor category and a price of a sale 15 pounds the normal price is 20 as you can see here so let's go back to the uh, plugins install plugins and here as you will see, I have the Piotnet Forms Pro and the Piotnet Forms Free, and I'm going to use that to create my own form. Let's go to Piotnet Forms, let's go to Forms, and here I'm going to add a new form. Here the title should be uh, Add Product. Product. Okay, let's hit Publish. and I'm missing an R okay and let's go back to Pitnet forms forms leave page I'm going to copy the short code to have it ready 
and then I'm going to edit with Piotnet Forms. Let's go into the pages, let's create a new page, let's create a test page. Test. Okay, paste the short code, hit publish. And then let's view the page, so we have that ready. And let's go back to the settings, so here are the form editors, so I'm going to add here a section. And inside here I'm going to add some fields, so we have a field for the title, we need a field for the uh, featured image, a field for the description, a field for the taxonomies, and a field for the price. So let's start with those five. Here let's go to the first one, which will be the title of the product, of course. So I'm going to copy that and paste here in the label as well. Then we have the second, which will be the description. Description. Okay, I'm going to copy that and paste it here as a label. And here that says text, I'm going to select text area. The third one will, will be the image, the featured image of the product. So let's go for image, copy that and paste it here in the label. And here you have to select the image upload. Okay, then we have the next, which will be the terms, the category. So let's go for a category. Okay, let's paste that to the label as well. And for the type, I'm going to select terms select. After that, I'm going to select the last one, which will be the price. So let's go for price. And I hit control instead of shift. So I had that one opened. So let's go for price. Okay, and then price. And the type will be text. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to add also a button. So let's go and submit here and let's click that. And now I have to go to the action after submit. I'm going to click here to delete the email and I'm going to select the uh, submit post. After that, submit post. This is the option. So the post type should be product. Let's go and select products. Now here we have the terms list. So here we'll, we'll select the categories. And I'm going to click here that says add. And here I'm going to select the product category. Product cut product. Okay, this is the one. So I'm going to click here save. Now this says that this feature only works in the front end. And if you've done that correctly, this should work. But if I go here, I will see that I have the category and I don't have the categories that I wanted because these are the categories of my uh, posts. If I go back here, and let's open that and let's go to the dashboard. We're going to see inside the post that we have some categories and it has the categories one, two and uncategorized. If I go to the WooCommerce, the products and categories, I will see that I have different categories inside here. So it's pulling the categories from the posts. So I have to fix that. Now, first I went into the settings and into the uh, permalinks because that was more logical thing to do for me and grab the uh, product category base that I have here, the slug for the product category, but that didn't work. And then I just tried after a little while uh, the product cut as it says here. So I'm going to put that, the product cut, inside the category field. So let's click the field category. And here that says taxonomy slug category. I'm going to put here category, uh, sorry, product. underscore cut for category. So let's save that and let's go back to the uh, front end and let's refresh and as you can see now we have here our categories. Now that took me a while to understand what I need to put and sadly it took more than it should. <laughs> so uh, after that we're going to close the categories in the submit. So let's go here and close the item and then we have uh, which post status that we want to add if we want to publish or pending I'm going for publish then we have the title and assign the title field the assign the description for the content and assign the image for the image field after that we only need to assign the price so as you can see here it says custom fields and here it says post custom field I'm going to leave it as this I don't have to switch to any of those settings and I'm going to click add item now I need two things here. I need the field short code. So I need to select the price 
field here and I need to assign that to a custom field slug. So I didn't know uh, what slug was uh, for the price. This plugin, the store toolkit for WooCommerce will help us now. So we're going to copy that. I'm going into the settings, into the plugins, add new. Okay, and paste that here. And I'm going to activate. Okay, now I can go into WooCommerce, sorry, products, all products. And if I open one of those products, I'm going to open that in a new page. And I'm going to go straight down. You can see now that says product post meta. So it will give you the slug that you are going to use. And here is the information that this particular product has. So here, as you can see, we have the price and we have the regular price. So I'm going to use the price because I don't have a sale price. And as you can see, this is uh, 11 Zero 05 and the regular price is 1105. So I'm going back to the form and I'm going to use this here, the price. Remember to uh, leave the underscore here. If you don't, it will not work. So I'm going to hit save changes. And let's go now to the test page that we have and let's add the product. So I'm going for test 11. Description is 11. The image. Uh, is something like that. Category, I'm going for clothing and the price is uh, 25 pounds. So let's hit submit. And now let's go back to the products. Let's refresh the old products. And as you can see now, I have the test 11 and I have the uh, price here, but for some reason I don't have a category assigned. We're going to check that. Uh, but this works as it should. Let's open that and we're going to see if also the description is working. And as you can see, 11 for the description. So let's see why it didn't work for the uh, category. So let's go into terms and terms slug that says here, terms select field short code. So I didn't check this should be the category. So let's save that. I forgot about this. So let's see in the front end and refresh. And here I'm going to add the test 12. Description is 12. The image is the same. Open that category. Let's go for hoodies and price is uh, 30 bucks, 30 pounds. Let's submit that. And let's go back to the products and refresh the page, all products. And now I have the test 12. 30 pounds and hoodies. Now let's say that we want also to add the SKU inside our forms. We're going to uh, going back to our forms. I'm going to duplicate the price. I'm going to put that on top and click the price and let's see. And as you can see now the price that I have added is with the field ID of something. It's not the original one that has the price here. It's the copy one. So I know that this is the copy. So I'm going to put here SKU, SKU. Okay, the label is SKU. And of course, I'm going to leave it as a type, as a text. Let's go into the submit. So here I'm going to close these terms and here I'm going to close the first item. I'm going to add a new item. And for the field sort code, I'm going to select the SKU. For the custom field slug, I'm going back to my product that I have opened. And if I go here, I can see that the SKU is this one. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going here and put that as the SKU. I'm going to save that and let's go back to the front end. Let's refresh the page and put here a test 13, 13. The image is something else. This one, the category is music. SKU is uh, testing and the price is 13. Let's submit that. And let's go back to the settings. No, let's back, go back to the products and let's refresh that. And as you can see now, I have also the SKU enabled and it's all working. And since we can go inside here, we can also see what else we want to add. So if we want to add also the shipping information, the weight, we can just take the weight. If 
uh, here the product that you have opened doesn't have any weight this is because it doesn't have uh, the weight uh, assigned so you have to go inside the general uh, where is the weight uh, inventory so this is the external affiliate product it's not the best product I have checked so let's go for all products open up another product okay so let's go for the hoodie with the zipper and let's go to the inventory uh, shipping sorry and here we have the weight so as you can see here I think I don't have any weight selected there is no weight here as I can see I'm going to add here a 10 kilos or 20 kilos something like that I'm going to update that and if I go now down I will find the 20 number somewhere here it is and this is the weight so I'm going to copy that I'm going back to the forms of course I'm going to duplicate the SKU click here okay this is the weight weight and okay I'm typing it correctly this is what I wanted to check so then we have going to go to submit we're going back here into the items I'm going to add another item field short code is the weight and the custom field slug is the one that I have copied so let's save that and let's go to the testing page let's refresh and I'm going of course to type test 14 description 14 the image is uh, this one open the categories this and the SKU is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 the weight is uh, 100 kilos and the price is 100 pounds let's submit that and let's go back to the products all products and let's go and open that test 14 let's go to the inventory and see if the weight is there so let's go into inventory and as you can see one two three four is this SKU and the shipping is 100 pounds now uh, as you can see in the general we have the regular price and the sale price and the regular price is not selected and this is because I have only add the uh, price here let's go back to the product and here you will see uh, does this has a price it has a regular price so this should have a regular price as you can see here and also a price so you have to add both of those this is the price for uh, when it's using I think in the archive but this is for inside the product so you will have to use also this one the regular price also if you are going to use the sale price you have to use this as well just to see it inside if you don't you will not see the price inside the product you will just see it when you're viewing all the products in the front end we, it will work fine so uh, that was all for the video if you just play a little bit with all those fields you can see how you will add those if you are not going to, if you are not finding something you can just add it in a test product like an attribute you can add an attribute here and see how it works inside here now I'm not sure that the attributes are not going to work 100% but you can test that out for simple products it's working fine so that was for the video thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video bye